Hi budding artist, welcome to Ayat Studio. This is Aishwarya Bharat. Today we are going to paint the Australian rock in New South Wales, Australia. This painting is a part of my art and travel series. We were waiting to watch the sunrise from Australian rock in Naruma. People say that this place is known for spotting seals and if you are lucky enough you could spot whales as well. This is one of the best sunrise I have ever seen. What more could I say? I ended up here. Sketch the outline of the rocks using a pencil. Taking reference from the original clip, we could see that the clouds are clear on the top and heavy at the bottom which is close to the sea. We begin to paint the clouds by mixing tallow blue and titanium white. Using a quarter inch flat brush, I paint the heavy clouds by mixing black, white and blue. Taking a small round pointed brush, I highlight the clouds with yellow and white to show the sunrise behind the clouds. There were clear waters in between the rocks. We paint the waters with tallow blue and wash it with titanium white. These are the water in between the rocks. After the sunrise, the rocks started to glow. As the next step, we shall paint the rocks by mixing burnt sienna and black. Using a quarter inch flat brush, I paint these rocks. Slowly fill the color in the sketch we have drawn. Make sure the brush doesn't come over the water. Later I will add highlights to these rocks. Watching a beautiful scenery like this one and later recreating them back from the trip will make you feel great. It was completely dark before the sunrise but the rock started to shine after the sun's rays was passing through this Australia shaped rock. It was a bliss to see the sun rising slowly through this rock. As the next step, we shall highlight the rocks which caught the sun rays. I do this by mixing raw sienna and yellow ochre. A portion of the rock is exposed to sunlight and the other half is still dark. So carefully highlight the rocks here and there to get the realistic effect. The rock in the right bottom is fully exposed to sunlight. So I paint with yellow ochre and white mixed. This has to be a sharp application, so I am using a round pointed brush. Using the same color, I highlight few other portions of the rock. As the last step, we shall paint the sun rays. Using a quarter inch flat brush, I take titanium white and create lines as if sun rays are passing through the rocks. Make it more subtle by using a dry flat brush. Remember to sign your artwork and here is the painting of the Australian rock using acrylics. Subscribe to Ayad Studio for more travel paintings. See ya!